Hi everyone, Keith here. Hey, uh, got some interesting stuff here. Hoping everybody's listening and listening real good. Because, uh, I've been doing some studying for the last six months trying to free myself. Because I know I am free. I am free to do as I please. And as long as I do no harm, don't do no harm to me. <clears throat> First it starts out with a what they call a criminal offense. And I've got this stack of paperwork that everybody's probably pretty much familiar with um, if you've seen my previous videos. I've taken them off now because now they've been filed. I want to keep my, my page clear so people can uh, keep up to date with my current projects. And so we're going to set them there and we're not even going to worry about them. But the uh, interesting thing is in my studies over the last six months we've got what most of us are concerned about this birth certificate certificate of live birth now for me it's it's kinda of different for uh, for most people or I, I can't even say most but it, people have different certificate uh, things going on here and in my particular situation I'll explain it to you like this when a woman marries a man She's got what they call a maiden name. And when she gets married, she has to have a name change. She has to go through the application of name change through their courts. And when they do that, they go ahead and grant her the name of the man that she married. However, by record, they are supposed to keep their maiden name on record. And so in most states, I believe, it's required that uh, when they get that birth certificate, it won't have the husband's married name with the woman and his married name. It will have her maiden name. On mine... It's Garden City. Let me see if I can get this to you. It says Keith Orland Little. And then right there, it says Father Albert Byron Little. And then there, it says Gloria Jean Graves. My parents. On my birth certificate, as you saw, it only says Keith Orland Little. It does not include my antecedent birthright name. Now the second thing, when I was adopted as a minor child, that means it was two adults that signed that contract and therefore that contract exists between those two adults which in this case is a signature of one or both of my parents of the adoption and the state of Iowa registrar David Fries that's who this contract is between because even as a minor child if my signature were on it it wouldn't be valid because I'm a minor. Well, that screws them on this. People, this here is an insurance policy that I can declare that I no longer am subject to. I simply claim or reclaim my antecedent birthright name. I am now since my discovery without infringement upon my rights declaring my name is Keith Orland Conrardy K-O-N-R-A-R-D-Y case sensitively spelled okay 
first thing down. And I'll show you how to use that in a later date. <coughs> Second thing, they always have you submit and sign papers. And that's why I keep telling people, quit fucking signing. You do not have to have a state-issued ID. I have paperwork here drawn up blank with everything but a picture and what says valid identification card or travel all private matters and then it got it's got a spot for uh, signature up here it says valid identification card for all private matters and that I'm gonna have a de declaration that I verify I am the one described in the picture here. And then it's going to have my weight, height, eye color, hair color, my birth date, my weight at birth, the time at birth, where I was born, who delivered me, And, of course, that signature is going to be Keith Orland Conrady. Then I'm going to have two witnesses that will verify that they know for a fact that my name is Keith Orland Conrady. That will be signed and notarized. In other words, certified by a notary public that two other people verified by showing their ID to her, declaring that she could verify who they were, and therefore, they were verifying who I am. Valid ID, people. Valid ID for any and all private matters. Because anything I want to do is my business. Even if I want to do it with the state. Then, of course, I've got one printed up two by three, which I'll type in all that same kind of information. With, with the exclusion of my birth information, this will have me my current information. How much I weigh, my height, eye color, hair color, all that. So, there's birth certificate, ID. What else do we have here? Oh, I've got to uh, go down to the post office and get a P.O. box. And then if you look at... Um, the uh, post below, you'll see one that's uh, a, a notice. Um, a notice of uh, reclamation um, errors and um, something else along with a uh, 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 written plea of guilt along with all five charges stating that I, Keith Orland Conrady, admit <laughs> Keith Orland Get Little <laughs> is guilty as charged of all five of those offenses. Here's my written plea of guilt along with my notice which will be filed tomorrow. My court date is the next day, Friday. <clears throat> of course, that means the judge probably will not have that recorded. So he will either have to accept this as I hand it to him thereby contracting with me. He does not want to contract with me now. He better not take it or I will bill him. I also have here the paperwork from the Social Security Administration. Social Security number misuse and identity theft. And it gives here the Federal Trade Commission and how to get a hold of them. Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian to clear up your credit because if they try to come after you and they send you a bill in either name in my case either under Keith Orland Little or Keith Orland Conrady I am having no problem sending them a bill and my schedule of fees is my schedule of fees and if you don't want to agree to it you can take it or leave it but I assure you, if you leave it, I will file my claim again for perjury, identity theft, fraud, and treason. 
Now, tomorrow I'm going down to the uh, state capitol to visit with the Secretary of State or his clerk. And when I do, I'm going to get a fictitious name resolution. That's what they call it here in Iowa. Fictitious name resolution. Most people call it a DBA, doing business as. And fictitious name resolution tells you it's a fictitious name, which nobody wants to believe in. Believe it, folks. Here in Iowa, they even call it a fictitious name resolution. And they call it a resolution because I have a problem with it, and we're going to resolute that. We're going to resolve it. And then, of course, somebody's going to notarize that and sign it with its wet mark, a watermark. Then I've got my UCC1 filing. I'm going to fill that out at the same time because that gets filed with the same Secretary of State. And both of these documents only cost five bucks. Now there's a bill they're giving me. Huh. See what we can work on that. If they agree, I'll have no problem with it. If they want me to take it or leave it, I'm going to give them a bill for take it or leave it. understand people that's your power do it right according to your own situation like I said my situation is a little bit different because I was adopted I've got parents that aren't mine and in some states they might give you your birthright name on that application and follow it through and, and present it on this in my situation they don't therefore my children cannot follow that lineage because when they get to this it follows the little lineage without giving them the idea that there's actually two lineages that have been split. It's called uneducation. What they do to our kids in school. They're not telling them the full truth. They're not giving them full disclosure. It's fraud. Identity theft. And of course, any time they get rid of any documents so they don't lose, it's called Oh, what is that? Um, I'm kind of drawing a brain brain fart here. Um, mutilation. Mutilation of documents. Importance of national concern. That's what they put on your birth certificate. Of national concern is being reported. A live birth. That's how important this is. It's national importance. That's why it's called treason. Treason against the people. Do it right, people. I'll give you another update when I get done with court Friday. In the meantime, wish me luck. God bless you all. I love you. Later.